here we are talking about an important class of uh, cardiovascular drugs uh, that is anti-anginal drugs or anti-anginal agents uh, anti-anginal drugs are the drugs which are used to treat an condition of angina so what is angina angina may be manifested as a severe pain in the chest which extends up to the left arm that is angina may be considered as a severe pain in the chest which extends up to the left arm now what is angina angina is considered as an ischemic heart disease ischemic that means la lack of uh, oxygen or uh, a condition of hypoxin where there is unbalance in between the myocardial oxygen supply and myocardial oxygen requirement the drug which are used to treat angina mainly acts by reducing the myocardial oxygen requirement or by dilating the veins and coronary arteries this whatever the myocardial oxygen requirement will be the anti-anginal drugs will decrease the myocardial oxygen requirement and they reduces the blood pressure by dilating the veins and the coronary arteries so that the myocardial oxygen requirement will be decreased now there are following types of anti-anginal drugs these are nitrates and the nitrites beta adrenergic blockers calcium channel blockers and miscellaneous you will find the examples from your course book uh, here we are moving next towards that is nitrates and nitrites the nitrates and the nitrites mainly act by reducing the myocardial oxygen requirement <clears throat> and by dilating the coronary arteries the dilation of the coronary arteries decreases the blood pressure and for it the decrease in blood pressure decreases the myocardial oxygen requirement one of the best example of nitrates and nitrites is isosorbid dinitrate uh, mostly the nitrates are dilates the veins now we are talking about what is the mechanism of action of the nitrates does <clears throat> uh, here uh, a theoretical part of the uh, mechanism the organic nitrates are rapidly denitrated enzymatically in the smooth muscle cells to release the reactive free radical nitric oxide uh, before studying the mechanism let me tell you one thing about myosin what is myosin myosin gets activated in the presence of phosphorylated myosin light chain kinase and the activated myosin interacts with actin which results in contraction of the smooth muscle this is how the smooth muscles contracts that is myosin gets activated in the presence of phosphorylated myosin light chain kinase and the activated myosin interacts with the actin which results in contraction of the smooth muscle cells this what happens with the nitrates is that the nitrates acts upon the mlckp with the for this steps of reactions and dephosphorylate it the mlckp undergoes dephosphorylation thus there is less availability of marsin phosphorylated marsin light chain kinase the less availability of phosphorylated marsin light chain kinase causes the marsin is not getting activated the when the marsin is not getting activated it doesn't interact with the actin and when it does not interact with the actin there is no contraction thus the organic nitrates are rapidly denitrated enzymatically in smooth muscle cells to release the reactive free radical nitric oxide when the free radical nitric oxide activates the cytosolic guanine cyclase present in the smooth muscle cell the cytosolic guanine cyclase which is activated by the nitric oxide increases the cyclic guanosine monophosphate the cyclic guanosine monophosphate together with an enzyme kinase causes dephosphorylation of the phosphorylated myosin light chain kinase that is the thing i was talking about when there is reduced availability of act uh, phosphorylated myosin light chain kinase this interferes with the activation of the machine
now the marcin is not getting activated thus it fails to interact with the actin which causes contraction when it fails to interact with the actin it causes relaxation here uh, in some uh, what diagram it is uh, the whole mechanism is about it is the nitrates are converted into free radical nitric oxide the free radical nitric oxide activates the cytosolic guanylyl cyclase the cytosolic guanylyl cyclase increases the cyclic guanine monophosphate the cyclic guanine monophosphate together with the dependent enzyme kinase causes dephosphorylation of phosphorylated mlckp the phosphorylated mlckp in the presence of cyclic guanine monophosphate and dependent enzyme kinase gets converted into myosin light chain kinase that is mlck when it, there is formation of mlck it causes there is decrease in availability of phosphorylated mlck which is required for the myosin activation when myosin is not going uh, getting activated it will not interact with the actin thus the contraction is choked and relaxation occurs this is the thing uh, what the mechanism of action of nitrates is all about now we are talking about uh, synthesis of isosorbate dinitrate here it is the reaction that is <clears throat> uh, glucose in the presence of hydrogen and platinum it uh, converts uh, converted into desorbitol the desorbitol in the presence of uh, sulfuric acid and water gets converted into gets converted into isosorbate the isosorbate in the presence of h2so4 and hno3 finally forms the isosorbate dinitrate this is the so sim uh, sim uh, simple reaction you will find the uh, all these uh, things from um, as a medicinal chemistry book of s in pandya now uh, the one of the main thing uh, is about side effects of isosorbate dinitrate when it is given the headache is common in the uh, patient with angina treating with isosorbate dinitrate it uh, when it is given uh, heavy doses and the overdoses may cause glaucoma weakness and dizziness thank you